hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so if you've not watched my hair growth time lapse video then you need to watch it because in that video i talked about or rather i stated all the mistakes that I made on my hair trim and i also stated that this year i want to be intentional with my hair so I decided I'm going to do a six month hair growth challenge. Now, I realized that I have been trying to make my hair what it is not. My hair is a low density type of hair. It is a thin natural hair and it is never going to be as bulky as some other type of hair. But I realized that my hair is the same type of hair that the women of Chad, Sudan, and the Fulani women have. And they usually have long hair. So I decided I am going to try and tailor my six month growth challenge to using their type of hair care. So in this video, I'm going to share 10 things that I will do to grow my hair in the next six months following the Fulani women hair care regimen now the first thing is to wash my hair every three weeks i'm following um green beauty she's a youtuber a natural hair youtuber she says she washes her hair once a month and i i researched and found out that the fulani women wash their hair every three weeks so i decided to do it every three weeks the second one is to moisturize my hair daily with my tea rinses and hydrating hairspray i have loads and loads of videos where you can where i show you how to make various herbal tea rinses and hairspray so you can check it out now the third one is to clean my scalp every five to seven days without washing it i have a concussion that i use to remove product build up and i'm going to try and be doing that every seven days or five days now i'm going to fill in the moisture and if you've watched the shebe women or rather the women of child and how they use their shebe mixture you see that they apply it on their hair from the roots to the tips and then they try and detangle and remove shed hair so every five to seven days after cleaning my scalp i plan on doing that um, but I'm not using a shape mix in this case for the next six months. I'm using my butter grease mix, which has other herbs and has menthol and has even a coffee mix inside. It has a coffee um, infusion. And I will show you guys how I made this butter grease mix that I tend to use to seal in the moisture, remove shed hair every five to seven days now the next one is to do a protein treatment wash day every time i'm washing so i intend on doing a light protein treatment and heavy protein treatment every time i'm washing so that is every three weeks i will do a protein treatment i will do a light one then followed by a heavy one i also intend to follow through with a detailed wash day that is i'm going to do a pre pull shampoo protein treatment deep moisturizing treatment hair rinse and the whole loc uh, method afterwards so it's going to be very very detailed five steps six steps but it's going to be more protein treatment all the time now the sixth is to keep my hair in twist now the women of child always keep their hair in um braids but i noticed that braids break my hair so i intend to keep my hair in twists just like how green beauty keeps her hair in twists so my hair is not as bulky as this but i thank god it's getting thicker so i can keep my hair in bigger twists now the seventh is to dust my ends every six weeks the eighth thing is to cover my ends as much as possible so i'm going to try and do the baggy method which is to cover your ends like yeah you can see with a certain scarf or certain wrap 
or nylon. Yeah, plastic nylon. The ninth one is to try heat stretching. Now, heat stretching is using the cool setting of your hair dryer to stretch your hair. And it is said to be up to help prevent single strand knots, which is one of the things that I battle with. So I'm going to try it. I don't know if I will be able to do it, but I'm going to try it. Then the tenth and overall thing that I'm going to do is pray. Pray that I'm consistent. Pray that everything I'm doing is going to yield good effect because at the end of the day, if my hair says, I don't like what you're doing, it's going to revolt. So I have to pray. Hopefully, everything that I do in the next six months will yield results and I'll be able to have long, thick, and healthy hair with healthy scalp. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime I upload videos. Now with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.